Welcome, welcome everyone on EEW Evangelism I Watch. We welcome you to another broadcast. Stay tuned and be blessed with your host, Minister Joan Evans the Costa on Evangelism I Watch. We thank you, Lord, for everyone in Nationwide this morning, and we thank you for the beautiful atmosphere. Bless the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonderful gift of praise. I thank you for your divine plan for our lives, for lifting us up when we fall, for giving your angel charge over us and making us more than a conqueror. You are our fortress and refuge in times of trouble. You preserve us and keep us our feet from slipping. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and we are safe. Thank you, Abba Father. We bless your name and we glorify your word in this nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me remind you of the topic this morning. There is a purpose in every test. And these little tests are getting us ready. We're going to talk this morning. No life is problem free. No life gets a free pass. Problems are no respect of persons. Problems are no respect of persons. Problems are everywhere. Problems turn up on the doorsteps of anyone. Believers, non-believers, everyone. Setbacks and delays faces most people and will often come during your darkest days when your back are against the walls, when you are out of options. The psalmist David declares in Psalms 33:18, he assured himself that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. It was in his lowest peak, his lowest moment that he uttered these words. And so I'm reminding you this morning that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, whatever you're going through, whatever your tests and trials are today. But remind yourself that there is a purpose in every test. I want you to remind yourself of that. There are many questions that persons might be asking today. Why God? Why? I asked myself this question too when I, I wasn't really sure where my position was in Christ. I wasn't really in right standing. I wasn't a firm. I wasn't that firm in the standing and walking of God. Why God? Why? Where are you Lord? Why am I going through these testing and trials? But the word of God reminds us that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But God comes that we will have life. Our problems forces us to look to God. It also serves as an eye-opener that we cannot go it alone. God intentioned and intended for us to place all our problems at the feet of the cross. This morning, people in Nationwide, place all the problem at the feet of the cross. You do not have to go it alone. You do not have to bear it alone. When you go through the fire, when you go through the storm, when you go through the water, he will be there with you. Have you ever wondered about the many problems the disciples of Jesus' faces whilst they were on earth, walking on earth, walking with Christ Jesus. They were not problems free. They were human beings. They were flesh and blood also. They were not problem free. Problems were everywhere. Paul was told everything happened to them just the same as we are. God could have stopped it but the, the intended purpose. God could have kept Joseph out of jail. 
God could have kept Jeremiah out of the slippery pit. God could have kept Jonah out of the whale's belly. God could have stopped Samson from getting into Delilah's trap. God could have kept Daniel from the lion's den. God could have kept Paul from the shipwreck. God could have kept David from not getting getting entangled with Delilah's selfish, with Bathsheba selfish love. But no, the results are every test. There is a purpose and these tests all draw them closer to God. God wants to draw you closer this morning. People out there that are facing test and trial, I am saying to you this morning, let your test become a testimony. Let your mess become a message and let them draw you closer to God this morning. Some of us experience delays and setbacks because your assignment was post-dated. God's timing are not your time in God's timetable, which should become your timetable when your purpose is 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 in is is in perfection. Your life cannot change unless you continue to walk in disobedience. When God intended intended purpose is ready for your life to bear fruit, it cannot change unless you continue to be disobedient. Joshua tasted the joy of the promised land, but had to go back and wait because certain things had to happen before. There are many of us that are put back on the back burner, pushed back this morning. Don't, don't take it as a disappointment. Don't take it as not having any luck. Don't take it as we oftentimes use the word, boy, I'm salt. God intended purpose for your life is not ready to be fulfilled yet. Just continue to walk in the will and purpose of God. Continue to go through your tests because when you go through your test, you will come out like the refiner's fire will come out pure as gold. When you go through the storm, go through it with, with joy. When you go through the fire, go through it with joy. When you go through the water, go through it with joy because God intended purpose is good. The little test that you are going through is get to get you ready. Every test, the every test, every test, there is purpose in every test for your life. So when you go through your test, go through it with joy. When you align yourself with what if, what will, what was, what can, you are telling us that you are not ready. You're telling God that you're not ready. You are not ready to walk into your purpose. You are still looking for approval, seeking to impress people. Hallelujah. God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all other things will be added to you. Jeremiah had doubt too. When God called upon him, he told God that he was only a youth. But God, you know, God, God get under his skin. God said, oh no, oh no, I will be there with you. So I'm going to put out my hand and God put out his hand and put the word in his mouth. You are ready. You can't tell God that you're not ready when he's ready for you. There were a lot of voices around Joshua telling him that his, his will and purpose could not be done either. Through it all, God intervened. I want to tell you this morning that when God get ready, you don't tell him that you're not ready. You don't tell him when God is ready for your intended purpose. I want to leave with you this day that every voice, every test, every trial that is holding you back has got to die, including the voice of your uncertainty this morning. Whatever uncertainty is holding you captive this morning about God's purpose for your life has got to die. Get ready to be closer with God, to walk in your intended purpose. Your testing this morning is a purpose. The little test that you are going through is getting you ready to live in that abundant life with Christ Jesus. So I want to bless you this morning. 
Don't delay. Don't be um, disobedient. Don't, don't despise. Don't, don't despise what God has, you know, already set up for your life. He said, he knows you before I form you. I consecrated you before I form you in the wombs of your, your mother's bellies. You understand me? This morning, God knows everything about you. I want to leave with you today as I close my people in Nationwide. You can't approach God demanding justice. You can only come pleading mercy. When you pass through the water, he said, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. And this is a sound work word from Isaiah 43, 2. There is nothing to fear when you know God is near. Whatever you face in the future, you will never face it alone. So don't be discouraged. Be courageous through your testing. Deuteronomy also declares, Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Be so be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail nor abandon you. Satan will plant seed of doubt and fear in your mind. As I said earlier, what if, what was, what is? And you will doubtfully face anxiety from other sources too. Give those fears to Jesus. And remember, God promised never. God promised to never abandon you. You don't have to know what the future holds because you know who holds the futures. All God's promises are yes and amen. Stay blessed, my people, in Nationwide. Have yourself a blessed week. Walk good. One love. Catch you next week.